Hey everyone, tonight I am going to be making my favorite rice dish. I don't know what this is called exactly, um, but it's, I just call it uh, celery onion rice. So if any of you know, please let me know in the comments below. So I actually learned how to make this, um, well actually I learned, I taught myself rather. Um, I used to be friends with this girl and this is actually like her mother-in-law's recipe. Her mother-in-law taught her how to make this for her husband. Um, and when I was at her, she used to have this like apartment. I was over there and I just loved this rice. And I'll never forget, she was like in the kitchen making it. And I started to come in there. I was like, oh, I want to learn how to make it. And then she like, she didn't want me in her kitchen. <laughs> she was like, and then I just like told her, okay, well, can you just give me the recipe and she just she did not want to give up her recipe which I thought was crazy because back then I didn't even know the first thing about cooking and I didn't even know about YouTube like I just learned about YouTube a few years ago with my kids like how you you I, I used to like look up stuff by Google Google so anyhow um, she didn't want me to know the recipe but I'd been friends with her for many years so I, I would just like sit at the table while, while she made it and I would see the ingredients that she used so I was just like spying from a distance and that's how I I came up with my version I don't even know if it's like exactly like how she made it but my version is delicious and um, I actually made this for my mother-in-law one time and she absolutely loves it and she said that she'd never had it before either so she didn't know what it was called either but every time I make it she just she just devours it so that's the story behind this so let me go ahead and tell you how I make it I'm gonna share it because I always like to share the wealth I'm not like that okay so to get started I used uh, two cups of white rice and so what I do is I like to soak my rice in hot water for 10 minutes so that's what I do and then after 10 minutes I'll pour it I actually I let me let me start again so what I do is I put uh, two cups of the rice in this bowl and I cover it with hot water and I set the timer for 10 minutes and then once that's done I take it out and I put it in the strainer and I run cold water through it because it has a lot of starch and you'll see it it's like a white like filmy um, like powdery looking thing so I just run it till it's clear and then I let the rice dry like this till it's like dry I let it uh, drip dry then what I do is I take a quarter piece of a white on I, I let me let me back up so what I do is I take one like medium or like big onion and I cut off a quarter piece of it which is right there and that's one and a half cloves of garlic Oh, my dog, sorry. This is one and a half cloves of garlic. And then the remainder of the um, the onion, I just chop up like like rough chop like this. It doesn't it doesn't need to be like tiny because you're gonna actually see the um, the onion in the rice and it's delicious. And then I took some um, celery and let me let me move this around so I could show you how I cut it. So basically I take a celery like this. Move the so you can see, and then like I, I chop off the ends like that. And then what I'm gonna do is oh, shoot, it's not here. Let me move it. So basically, I cut off the ends of the celery, and then I'm gonna take it and slit it down the center like that. And then I'm just gonna cut it like in three pieces, like that, or however long your celery is. So it looks like this. It doesn't need to be like perfect, but they're just like basically like thin slices of celery okay so so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my water so basically for one cup of rice you need two cups of water so I have two cups of, um, of rice so I'm gonna fill this to four the numbers are like faded on here so let me see if I can let's see so that's like four cups of water okay so next what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna go ahead and add my quarter piece of white onion and my one and a half garlic cloves, okay? Like that. And I'm actually, I'll actually write everything down for you guys, okay? So I'm gonna take like, like a heaping um, spoon of the chicken bouillon. I'm gonna do two of these like this, okay? Like that. So that's just like about a tablespoon, okay? And then the secret ingredient that really like brings this all together is the garlic salt. I'm lucky I, I saw her throw that in or else it wouldn't have came out the same. So, and use this one. This is the Lowry's garlic salt. I don't like the generic ones because they're just full of like, like salt and like cheap ingredients. This is the best one. So all I do is I'm gonna do like this, just like that. So that was like six little shakes and it's not like full on shakes. I just do a little bit, okay? So there's like a science behind this. And once you make it, like you, like it's, it's through like trial and error you'll, until you, you get it right. And you'll know by the, the taste of the rice, okay? So now, let me put my blender on. Sorry, my dog is going crazy. Okay, so next, what I'm gonna do, and I have my favorite um, like pot to make this in. This is the one that I use all the time for this. So, and the cooking time will like vary depending on your pot. This is a really thick pot. So I actually um, already have it heating up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cooking spray like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and I have my I don't know if you can see that canola oil okay so I'm gonna pour in like that much it seems like a lot but I have a lot of rice okay and where's my great, I have a great spatula I need to be better prepared okay so I'm gonna take my rice there we go. So I'm just going to move it around in the pan. You want it like saturated. You don't want too much oil because if you get, if you do like too much oil, then you'll taste the oil in it and you don't want that. You just want enough to like coat it. See how this is like saturated, but it's not like too much. You don't see any in the, the bottom of the pan. So you just want to um, just like keep moving it around because this rice is like white rice so you don't want to burn it it's not like cooking like traditional like Mexican rice like Mexican red rice where you're gonna do it till it's brown this is different so you just want to keep moving it around till it starts to get like a little um, like a little change of color and like at this point I'm gonna go ahead and add all my onion and it's gonna start smelling so good. It kind of starts to smell like Thanksgiving a little bit, like when you're making, um, what is it called? Like the stuffing, because the, the celery and onion flavors go so good together. So we'll just start doing this. And see, see how it's like chunky pieces of onion in there, but it's so good. Like everybody loves this rice. This is my favorite rice. And I'm like a rice connoisseur. So you guys gotta try this. And I actually, like before I, I made this tonight, I was curious because I've just always made it and I always just called it my, my celery onion rice. So I looked it up um, on the computer and I didn't see anybody, like any version. Like there's like a couple people that make it, but it, it doesn't look like mine. So, I don't know like where this version is from, so if you're watching this and you know, please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know. Because my, my mother-in-law is from Mexico and she's never had this and she just absolutely loves this. So, we would actually both love to know 
where this came from. Okay, so next I'm gonna add my celery. Oh, great. Sorry. Chanel! Sorry, my, my dog is going crazy. Okay, so now, and it, um, so what we're gonna do is just, the more that I move this around in the pan with the celery and onion, the more it flavors the rice. So, that's what you want. And then, um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought with this dog barking. Chanel, quiet. What's left of my mind anyway. Okay, so just keep moving it around. And like I said, the more you move it around, the more fragrant it's going to get. It just smells like Thanksgiving right now, even though it's like a Mexican. I'm assuming it's a Mexican rice because her mother-in-law was Mexican, so... But, I don't know. You'll let me know. So, just keep doing this. And like I said, you don't want to brown your rice. It's just, I don't know if it's if the lighting's picking up on the camera, but it's kind of like turning to like a, like a slight, like yellowy color. I don't know if you can see that. That's what you want. We're almost there. We're almost ready to add our mixture of the onion and the garlic and the chicken bouillon and the garlic salt. I really want you guys to try this because you guys will love it. Like this is this is really really like out of all my recipes, like I have a lot too because I I have so many things I know how to make. Um but this is like one of my favorite things and like I would love if you guys would learn to make this because it's going to be a hit. And like I said, my mother-in-law is like an excellent, I call her the chef because she, she knows, she knows what she's doing in the kitchen. Um, I'm actually, I'll make some of her recipes, like her family recipes to share with you guys as well. But she knows what she's doing and she loves this. So I, I actually impressed her with this dish. Alrighty, so next we're ready to add our mixture. It smells so good. Mm. So now I'm just gonna, I don't wanna swirl it around too much. I just wanna make sure that all of the rice is like off of the edges so that it all gets cooked. Now I'm gonna turn my pan up to high like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on so it'll get up to temperature faster. So I'm still like learning everything about YouTube. There, it's really involved, there's a lot to know. And like when I first started, I had no idea. Like a lot of people like pay people to edit their videos and I haven't gotten that far yet. So I'm not gonna like hold you up to watch the finished product. I'll take a picture, so that'll be like the picture of the rice. When you click on the video, you'll see like the outcome, like the end result, how it looks. So basically what we're gonna do now, um, like I have it, I have the, obviously I have the lid on, so that brings the temperature up faster. So what we want is we want this rice to start boiling and bubbling. So basically, I don't wanna take the lid off right now because then it'll let out all the heat, but basically, the rice, like you want it to start bubbling like all around the edges, all around the center. And um, once it's doing that, then you're gonna turn the fire on low. And I cook this about 20 minutes, but everybody's um, like pan and like stove is different. So you wanna watch it because if you overcook it, then it's gonna burn from the bottom and that would not be good. And like I made that mistake in the beginning, obviously, when I was learning to cook, so don't do that. So it's just like through trial and error. So again, you just want it to like bubble around the, um, the edges and the center at that time, you're gonna put it on low. And then I set the timer for 20 minutes. And like on here, I like for me, for example, I can just twist it like this and then I can see through it, like th through the glass to see where we're at. Um, but your goal is you do not want to see like any water like um, like coming through the rice or like bubbling through the rice. And then once you 
see that it's totally dry, you don't see any water on top, turn the, um, turn the flame off and do not take this lid off. If you take this lid off, you're gonna ruin your rice and then you're just gonna have to start over. So what I do is, because um, I've made this so many times and this is the only pan that I make it in because it comes out perfect, because you need an airtight pan. If you do not have an airtight pan, then it's not gonna come out right. So you need to invest in like a good quality uh, pan. So, um, what was I saying? So, okay, so once I turn it off after the 20 minute mark, I do not remove this lid and I let it sit minimum 10 minutes. And then after that, cause I've made it, I've made this like over like 10 years now. Um, so um, once I do that, then like I can remove the lid like after 10 minutes and I'll just take a fork and I'll just like fluff the rice and it comes out so perfect and it's abs absolutely delicious. See, it's starting to, I can see it boiling through here, like starting to bubble. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Let me move this and you can see through the glass. So it's starting to boil a little bit, not to the point where I wanna turn down the flame yet because my goal is I want the whole thing to start like bubbling. So, I won't keep you guys because I'm going to talk your ear off. So um, give this a try. And again, if you can please let me know like where this originates from, like what town, I'd love to know. So please subscribe to my channel and like the video and comment below about where this is from if you know. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.